Good morning or good afternoon to my learning strategies class. That is GLE 10A and B. And welcome to this installment of Marlon's Class World. Thanks for checking in today. We are going to look at a few very important literacy strategies today. And the lesson goes as follows. By the end of today's lesson, you should be able to apply your learning of multiple choice rules to graphic text practice questions. Those are the rules we looked at yesterday. You should be able to turn your smartphone into a powerful scanner and then take these documents from your scanner and convert those into PDF documents, which can then be scanned into Google Drive. And you can use those to scan into read and write to use those in a class. And that will help you in at home or at school in your learning. So the first thing we are going to do today is review some of those multiple choice rules that we looked at yesterday. If we go to the classroom stream under graphic text practice, the next step is to click on copy of writing conventions, multiple choice rules, student copy. When you click on that, this will come up on your screen. So a few of the multiple choice rules we looked at yesterday, the first one, Read the question or all the questions carefully. Second, think of an answer that may be correct. Read all four possible answers before choosing. Rule out any answers that are incorrect. And yesterday, you might remember that we did that by using the highlight function in Google Read and Write, which is this one here. Number six, two answers may be correct, so you look for the one that is more correct. And if you are unsure what the answer is, then guess. Do your best guessing according to what you read in there. Record your answer on the correct bubble sheet. As you saw yesterday, a few of you in the class used the an incorrect form of the bubble sheet, which was section was V. Today we are going to look and see what the section is on our bubble sheet and on our question sheet as well. All right. Now we get into the second phase of the lesson, which is using an app for those users who are iOS users who have a, an iPhone or an iPad at home, you are going to learn how to use an app called Evernote Scannable. So if you click on Evernote Scannable, and especially if you have your cell phone, you can take your cell phone out now, go into the classroom app and find the Evernote Scannable app on iStore, iTunes Store, which is right below the copy of writing conventions we just looked at here. Click on that, and it is going to open the Evernote Scannable app in the iTunes store. Now, if I open this link, you'll notice the Evernote Scannable app has this funky-looking butterfly right here. I have it on my iPad, and it's been an absolutely indispensable piece of or application that I've used in class so far. Click on that, and pause the video for now to give yourself some time to download the Evernote Scannable app on your phone. Good. And we're back. If you are an iOS user, oh, sorry. Nope, we're back. And we're going to look now at a short video that explains how to use Evernote Scannable on your phone.
Okay, so for our purposes today in class, we are going to upload to Google Drive. And if you'd like to try to upload your Evernote scannable document to Dropbox, if you have a Dropbox account, you can do that. So go ahead for those iOS users and take the document that I gave you today, which is called Graphic Text Practice One, put it on your desk and scan it using Evernote Scannable. You can pause the video now, so it gives you time to scan Graphic Text Practice One into Evernote Scannable. Now remember, when you go to upload it into Drive by going open in through Scannable, that's when you have to change the name. So instead of just Scannable Document, as you upload it to Google Drive, you're going to change the name to Graphic Text Practice One. You may pause the video now, and if you're an iOS user with Scannable, you can upload the video to Drive. As soon as you're done, you can start the instruction video again. Okay, for those who are Android users, there is a step-by-step -step series of instructions that I'll go through with you for Google Drive for Android. Now, the bonus about having an Android phone is that you can do this directly through your Google Drive app on your Android phone. If you open the Google Drive app, there is a plus button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Click on the plus, and that will open up three items at the bottom of your screen. You want to tap scan. You can then take a photo of the document, in this case, the graphic text practice one, which is on your desk, and it will upload automatically into Google Drive. When it asks you if you'd like to rename the document, instead of just leaving it as is, which is a set of numbers and it says it's scanned at a certain date, you, like the iOS users, are going to change that to graphic text practice one. So if you are an Android user, you may pause the video now, open up Google Drive, click on the plus button, tap scan, and take a photo of graphic text practice one. And remember to rename it. Android users, go ahead and pause and take the picture. Okay, welcome back to both Android users and users of iOS. Next, we will be learning how to convert these documents to read and write readable, capable documents by using Snapverter, which we downloaded a couple of days ago. So if we go to Drive and specifically into Recent, you should now see your graphic text practice one appear towards the top. If you don't, then you can search for it using the search drive function at the top. You won't be able to find graphic text practice one unless you did rename it in the process. Now, there's a really good chance that if you forgot that step to rename it, your scan, if you're an iOS user, will look something like this. If you used scannable, chances are you'll have a file at the top here in recent that says the word scannable in it. If you have that, you can rename them Graphic Text Practice One now. So now that you have it renamed or you had it renamed before, we can go ahead and use Snapverter. So in my drive, we know that there is a horizontal arrow that points to my drive, indicating that there are more files below the My Drive option. If you click on that, it will expand your choices and if you scroll down the choice on the left, you'll be able to find the Snapverter file in here. When you find the Snapverter file, you may have to also expand it because you need to see the option which says drop files here to convert. At this point, we're going to do exactly what the file says. You're going to grab Graphic Text Practice One and drag it into where it says, drop files here to convert. As you know from the past couple of days, this may take some time for your file to convert 
and to move its way from drop files here to convert into the finished folder. I'm going to keep my finished folder open so I know that it's working. You can also check the progress of your file by simply clicking on in progress. If it's here, that shows that your file is going through the process. If it ends up in failed uploads, you know that it did not work. And in that case, you can put your hand up and I will come over and we'll try to help you out. And as you can see, mine is still in, in progress. Eventually, that will end up in finished. And once it's in finished, what you're going to do is then right click on the document like so, go to open with and then to read and write for Google Chrome. I'm going back to finished. My document has not quite arrived yet. So you will have some time between the time you put it in drop files here to convert and when it gets to finish. But as you can see in checking in, it is still in progress, which is good. So as I said, once it does make its way to finished, if you right click, click on open with and go to read and write for Google Chrome, it should open that document in Read and Write for Google Chrome and give you all the functionality of that reading, the power of Read and Write to help you learn. Good. So when you have enabled Read and Write and when Read and Write is enabled on the document, please follow the steps from yesterday, including highlighting, including narrowing down your answers to the correct answer and using Read and Write to read the text for you. There are a few key pieces that you need to know before you answer. First, you're going to need this answer sheet. If you don't have one, Mr. Arnold has some at the front of the room, please come and get one. You do not need to open this with Google Read and Write, you need a paper copy. Good. So, thanks for watching today. If you have any questions whatsoever, please put your hand up and Mr. Arnold will come and help you. Good luck today, and I'll talk to you soon.